of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, is already warming up to stage an elaborate birthday party for his mother, Elijah Latifaz Olufunke Bajabi Amila, in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, starting from today, March 2nd. The funfair and lavish celebration to mark the woman's 90th birthday is expected to run until March 10 in the glittering Arab city. Hey! From what, you know, 2nd to 10th of this month. Hey, that is serious. Some of Nigeria's high and mighty, including politicians living fat on public funds, are expected to grace the occasion. Already, reservations for guests have been made at the Koran Hilton Hotel on Sheikh Zahid Road, Dubai, where the least room goes for $122, which is 43,920 naira per night. If calculated by 300 guests, the cost for hotel accommodation alone per night will amount to $36,600, which is $13,176,000 naira. Calculated for the eight nights that guests will be housed at the hotel, the total comes to $200. $92,800, which is almost $105,408,000 Naira. Hmm. Of course, what do we have to say? If you talk, they will say, oh, bad belly, oh, he is free to do anything he likes. He can go to the moon to celebrate the mother's birthday. Fine, good and fine. Congratulations to the mama, you know. You know, for celebrating a birthday, ninety year old, it's not it's not an easy thing. Good and fine, good and fine. There's no problem about it. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, to your to your parents. You know, they deserve it, and it's a welcome development. But the issue of the governance and being, uh, how would I put it, to be more prudent. That is where the problem is. And be and you know, be a public servant or public. <laughs> uh, Public servants, I don't know whether it's a public servant or all this uh, political elite. I don't even know how to put it, but at least governor, government official. Yes, I think that's the right word. Mm -hmm. Government official. Findings by Sahara reporters reveal that the average price for round trip flight from Nigeria to Dubai is currently $637, which is 229,320 naira. When this is calculated for 300 guests, the total expenditure for FA. Falls to 68 million naira, 796,000 naira. Um, okay, 68,796,000 naira. A front view of Hilton Dubai Al Habta City, a member of the planning team for the lavish celebration, inter Sarah reporters that some guests have been booked for special and luxurious accommodation, and that and the top police personalities not slotted in so private jets have already been booked for special seats on commercial airlines heading to dubai according to the source bajabia Mila could be spending well over 500 million naira to ensure his mother gets a befitting 98th birthday celebration going by the caliber of guests that would be gracing the occasion the source further told sarah reporters that elijah bajabia Mila played a pivotal role in the in her son's uh, foray into politics. Hence, the speaker is prepared to celebrate her in a big way, especially as she re reaches the milestone age of 90. Hmm. Known to splash the cash when celebrating persons special to him, Bajabia Mila in May 2018 gifted his wife Salamatu an exotic Mercedes Benz G Wagon on her 50th birthday, said to cost around 100 million naira. However, apart from living large on public funds, Bajabi Amela is also known to have a questionable past. Recall that he was found guilty by the U.S. Supreme Court of Georgia in February 2007 of stealing $25,000 from his clients and suspended from law practice for 36 months. Femi Baja, as he was known in the case file, accepted payments of $25,000 as a personal injury claims and deposited those funds in his attorney trust account in January 2003. He failed to disburse the funds to his clients instead withdrawing it, closing 
his process and returning to Nigeria where he ran for elections to represent Surilere one federal constituency in the House of Representatives under the, under the Alliance for Democracy in 2003. Upon arrival in Nigeria, curiously, he adopted a longer version of his surname, Bajabi Amila, ostensibly to peel off his suspicious past. The speaker has refused to talk about the matter whenever confronted by Nigerian journalists. Well, you've heard everything about him, and that is what has been happening. But now, they will tell you, those who really know how to defend, they will tell you this guy has been a billionaire while he was in his mother's womb. That is what they will tell you. Ah, he will come and tell you, ah, he has been a billionaire. He was a millionaire when he was... You know, they will start telling, oh, he had his money before joining politics. That is what they are going to be telling you. But... Let's hear what Nigerians are saying because uh, this Nigeria, the more you look, the less you see. Someone says, before you conclude calculating the speaker's wasteful spending in Dubai, first calculate the amount spent on President's health in a foreign hospital using taxpayers' money. That is the change we voted for. A day of reckoning is coming when their tenure will end and they will go and meet Metu, Kalu, and others. People build that city you are going to, to spend our money and you are not ashamed. Exactly, because the whole thing is just tiring. You know, these people are just deceiving us. They will tell you to be managing and, and sacrificing. The next thing, they will tell you this man has been a billionaire before he joined politics, that it's not a Nigerian money that he's spending. You know? That is what they are going to be justifying all of this to. You can imagine they will go to Dubai, Article, the same thing, all of them, any little thing, Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Why is it that those people in that uh, region, in that country, cannot even come to our country? Nothing. We will say we don't have money, but we have people who always go there to, 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 to spend money, to develop, to help the economy of that country. Why are these people like this? And just like one of the videos I said, I made, I said, those people, they will come out and say beautiful things. This uh, uh, man in uh, uh, Delta State, Baggy, was talking about the achievements of Nigeria. Uh, you know, the greatest achievement of Nigeria is this Amotekun. At the end of the day, he began to speak on how we are supposed to be running this government, uh, you know, as regards to uh, state policing and what have you. I said they will speak beautifully, but once they are being given the power, it's a different big ball game entirely. Those are the words they use in, in deceiving Nigerians, and people will fall, fall for it. Ah, you can imagine this and this and that. See Oshibajo now. Oshibajo is brilliant. There is no doubt about it. But now, what effect? What 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 is his contribution? What impact is he making? Which is all his knowledge. He can't do anything. It's like his hands are. Are, 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 are tight, he can't do much, so they will tell you Bajabi Amila has been this, has been that, has been, has been, has been a billionaire before now. So let's hear what people are saying. Uh, when enemies write about someone, you can easily identify that is the story of a person of one person. Let's hear from the other person before we can commence. That's what the person is saying. Someone says, Sarah, uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah way or opera news way, they set the trap and you do the avoiding that's that i don't know what this person is saying will he confess to wrongdoing never until you catch him red-handed i am not surprised at this now he now in way be that can somebody with facts of his conviction being up the matter again in nigeria bring up the matter again in nigeria because he will be guilty of perjury and candidates of imprisonment nothing fake nothing fake is Nothing fake is re really. I don't know what the person is talking about. Liar. Even a madman can't believe you. Really? Uh -huh. Yes, now. Uh, no Nigeria politician can make even without refunding all stolen, looted, and wasted funds. But you know, some people will come and be defending them. And these people cannot even afford three square me a day. And they will come and be defending. It's so, it's so, it's so appalling. So pathetic that the people will still be defending these people. Okay, let's take for example, like I always say, those people who are in who are who, who are politicians in developed countries, West a Western world that we do call them, do they really live like this? Are they so rich like this? That is the question that those who are defending them, you are living in ab abject poverty, you are living in penury, yet you are still defending these people. What have they done? The only thing they can come up to be to be proposing bill that you know that are ahead of that we that will just like you know turn your turn your stomach and you'll be wondering when somebody calls Nigeria Nigeria is a zoo you can imagine a public officer public officer spending like this 
somebody will come and tell you, oh, and we want to hear from this and that. But there was a time he gifted his wife. You know, those are the people that, you know, people try to emulate. Because when you see what they are doing in the recent, even as a politician, even as a public office, officer, you don't see the reality with what they get. You don't even, you can't even equate them. What do they do? Nothing. Oh, God. Honestly, this is really terrible. It's really terrible. I'm not even talking about uh, this because that is their usual way of life. All of them, every little time, every little thing, they are in Dubai. They will go and be lavishing money. One of them was talking, was it, you know, he has a, that he has a house in a, a UK, Dubai, and what have you. But he's thinking of how to pay his bill. And some people see come out and say, yes, all hear you, all hear you, enemy of progress, enemy of progress. If we continue like this, there is it's not by cause. We will continue to, to, to have this kind of country and people will continue to live in aged poverty if we cannot speak the truth. Like I said, all the politicians in the Western world, do they live like this? We will say we don't have the resources. Do you, do you know how they may manage their uh, resources judiciously? But in our case, you know, it's a different body mentality. They will come and tell you, he has been a millionaire right from... Time in memoria, even before the, the foundation of the world, he has been a millionaire or a billionaire. So, what are you talking that is not politics that made him a, a, a millionaire and whatever? So, they are not, they don't have conscience. So, that is just the way it is. Honestly, they don't have conscience. That is just my opinion. So, guys, I'm out of this place.